a promise of a thousand dollars a month to everyone. But for how long? For people who are not skilled enough, not competitive enough, we are assigned to simply consuming. Maybe that is fine. We can focus on being able to take care of our own families or do things we truly want to do. We can also be treated as raw data or be subjected to experiments. And maybe that is not so bad. But it is bad when the institutional power faces constraints. They might make decisions that could put a certain group in danger, say to be extinguished. What if suddenly it has been decided that certain groups are more morally questionable than others, more displeasing than others, but in reality it's just basic economics, or in reality it's just a lack of tolerance. The search for the perfect society leads to the dying of humanity. Solving lots of problems can be tiresome. You might start thinking that maybe it is time to start a new slate, a new slab, and be programmed the society so there are only minor errors to solve. So many complaints. It seems as though everyone wants something out of nothing out of no effort. So many people are lazy, selfish, self-absorbed. What does history and the Bible or Holy Scriptures teach us that? That eventually humans go back to our primal selves. That intelligence demands exploration or curiosities to all kinds of things, that we are incomplete unless we allow for all kinds of possibilities. The very nature of consciousness or awareness leads us to where we were, to the old problems we will eventually keep on facing. Most people would prefer to have a job to continue being in control of their financial life. There is no such thing as free lunch. It might be okay to have some people receive basic income, but most people are suspicious about that because most people think that firms and government will always try to maximize their own interests. We don't want to lose control of our future in exchange of present comfort. How many people will choose or will be on basic income? Eventually so many jobs will be automated. Eventually robots will replace human jobs because they are more reliable, they work consistently and can work for many hours. I personally have rudimentary skills, not really skilled enough to compete. I personally will welcome basic income because I'd like to go home uh, to Philippines and be a bit more comfortable, eat comfort foods in a familiar place and people. The original intention is to make the world a better place. The outcome turns to soylent green, which makes you think about the past civilizations and how much of what we think the history of our planet is really true. We might again be at that crossroads. We might be repeating the same kind of mistakes that will lead to the destruction of our civilization. There is no certain lifestyle that is truly the best or greater. 
when technology dominates and it causes so much harm, many might eventually decide to go back to a simple life. This possibly could have been the choice at the very end of civilization. That's why we are now finding traces of technology around us. Ancient monuments may have come from advanced civilizations. It makes us rethink the purpose of the so-called ancient monuments or objects we see around us. Previous civilizations may have modified their bodies to stop surveillance and monitoring. Beings from previous advanced civilizations may truly have a different body composition because our baseline composition allows for other entities to surveil and monitor us. Our capacity for knowledge and creativity is a curse, a double-edged sword. It's almost like we are programmed for self-destruction or we are destined to create something that will kill us. There are no clear answers or solutions. There are no instant solutions. Everything is an ongoing process. There is no single answer to all of our problems. There are dangers. There are benefits. Thank you for watching my video. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. You may also leave a comment down below. Thank you.